This is the third sermon that dedicated to the subject Yawm al-Din, Yawm al-Akhir, or Yawm al-Qiyamah, the Day of Resurrection, the Day of Divine. I mentioned that this subject is significant in the Qur'an for this reason more than 1200 verses of this holy book are dedicated to this issue to remind us to be ready for resurrection. I focus on one of the titles of the judgment, Yawm al-Hasra, or Yawm al-Nidama, and the last two lectures explain some of the reasons that people may regret their life when they meet with their Lord. There are 70 titles start with Yawm, Yawm al-Qiyama, Yawm al-Khuruj, Yawm al-Khulud. But there are some other 30 names for Yawm al-Qiyama that doesn't come necessarily with the title of Yawm, like Al-Qara, wa Mal-Qara, Mal-Qara, wa Ma Adraka Mal-Qara. One of the names of that day is Al-Qara, it's day of a strike. It's a universal. As-Sakha, fa'idha ja'at as-Sakha. Speaking about a scary sound, nufakha fassu. At-Tamma, fa'idha ja'at at-Tamma tul-Kubra. The greatest catastrophe facing this universe. Al Ghashia, Al Attack Hadith Al Ghashia, overwhelming incident. Al Azifa, Azifa Al Azifa, Laysa Laha Min Doon Allah Kashifa, the hour that no one except the Lord can help. الحاق ما الحاق وما أدراك ما الحاق undeniable reality impossible to avoid يتحقق الحاق الراجفة يوم ترجف الراجفة تتبعها الرادفة قلوب يومئذ واجفة the time of turbulence, followed with tensions that hurts the hearts. Al Waqa, Ida Waqat al Waqa, Laysa li Waqatiha Kadiba. Al Waqa, this is a fact. In the time of truth, is coming and that is the moment of accountability this is the day of accounting although it is your hisab is very careful based on justice but still there are people those who receive their records with the right hands their accounting is so easy is yomul hisab but some people hisab and yasira but for those who forgot about that, 
Nasau Yawm al Hisab. There are people that forgot about Yawm al Hisab, that there is a day of accounting. What is their logic? In Hiya illa Hayatun al Dunya Namutu wa Nahya wa ma nahnu bi mab'uthin. Life is just about this world. When we die, khalas. We are just like cats and dogs. And cats and dogs die, what happened? Their body joined the nature, and there is no heaven and hell, no calculation, same thing. They didn't, they, they didn't read this verse, فَإِذَا سَوَيْتُهُ سَوَيْتُهُ وَنَّفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي فَقَعُوا لَهُ سَاجِدِينَ فَسَجَدَ الْمَلَائِكَةُ كُلُّهُمْ أَجْمَعُونَ إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَا أَنْ يَكُونَ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ You just focus on the physical part of life and you forgot about نَفَخْتُ فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِي When I shape and fashion this man and breathe into him my spirit and by that Revolution happened. The angels fell in prostration before this man after he received Ruhullah, the Spirit of God. Because of this, they nasaw yawm al hisab They forgot about that. They did not read the words of God. They did not read the words of Amir al Mu'mineen in Nahj al Balagha, ayyuha al Nas. إنما الدنيا دار مجاز والآخرة دار قرار فخذوا من ممركم لمقركم وأخرجوا من الدنيا قلوبكم من قبل أن يخرج منها أو تخرج منها أبدالكم ففيها اختبرتم ولغيرها خلقتم This is not your real residence here you are not here to settle. Your settlement is going to come later. Not this world. The next one. عَجِبْتُ لِعَامِرٍ دَارَ الْفَنَاءِ وَتَارِكٍ دَارَ الْبَقَاءِ Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen is saying that I'm amazed that all the maintenance is directed to this temporary residence and no attention to the real one to the real house ayyuha an-nas tazawwadu fi ayyam al-fana la ayyam al-baqa this journey is a long one save something for your trip إن المرء إذا هلك قال الناس ما ترك وقالت الملائكة ما قدم. The last day of our life in this world and the first day of our movement or moving to the next one in this transition, the transition of death, that the last day of this world. And the first day of the next one, they connect. That is the moment of death that people start talking about property. Matarak, what did he leave behind? But the malaika, the angels, they are saying, Matadam, what did he save and sent in advance? The best saving brothers and sisters, not just only our prayer, as salat wa siyam wa hajj. These are important. These are ibadat, acts of worship. But also serving the people of God, serving humanity with your time, with your talent, with your treasure, with your tongue, with your body. This service is also an act of worship and ibadah. Inna Allah farad alaykum zakat jahikum kama farad alaykum zakat ma malakat aydikum. Imam is saying that your jah, your position, your power, 
Not only you pay the zakat and you purify your money and your property, but to purify your position and your power through putting that in service of humanity, that is also part of it. That is something that you save and send in advance. I was reading a report about poverty in Afghanistan. Really, when you read this report, when you see these photos, you start crying. That many people already live in heaven when you compare their life. It's so painful, the, the pain of poverty. Not only in Afghanistan, now in Iraq, now in Syria, now in Yemen. They are starting all over. Those poor people are paying big price and no hope. You see, still they go in the University of Afghanistan in Kabul and they kill their students because when you get education, education is an instrument to remove poverty from the society. So they don't want this society one day to be rich and in peace and prosperity. So they target universities, they kill the teachers, the students. The worst things that someone may say for the day of judgment is to save i'tidah, injustice, oppression, that is the opposite of the tazawud and saving something. And this is what we see, the Udwan al-Ibad, the Shayateen al-Ins, the killers, the corrupt, the criminals. They are making more mess every day, every night. Bombing the hospitals, burning the babies. Unbelievable. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ذَنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يوم القيامة أعمى قال رب لما حشرتني أعمى وقد كنت بصيرا قال كذلك أتتك آياتنا فنسيتها وكذلك اليوم تنسى Those who forgot about يوم الحساب يوم البعث They are the one who has to, have to suffer a miserable life No matter how much military victory they may gain but they already live in hell. And on the day of judgment, they are blind. So God, I could see now what happened to my eyes. Well, you ignore the signs of guidance. You ignore the signs. And because of that, you got lost. You didn't follow the sign and you became blind. I was going through this khutbah last night and studying some of these verses really that make you cry for a moment. When you see ayatul indhar wa ayatul bishara that Allah said wa ma Allahu bighafilin amma ya'maloon aw ta'maloon Allah is watching. He sees what you are doing. Yawma yarawna al-malaikata la bushra yawma idhin lil-mujrimeen Wow. They see the angels. When you see the angels, you should be happy. Oh, I'm meeting with the angels. But those who deny the day of divine and the justice of the creator, they are the ones who see the angels. But even angel, there is no good news even from the angel. That's the day of Justice for the corrupt, for the criminals. But then you read the ayat al Bushra, Haniyan Lissabirin, Haniyan Lissalihin. Good news for the people of understanding and heart and service and love and passion. In the Ladina Balu, Rabbunam Nath, Umma Stagamu. 
تتنزل عليهم الملائكة لا تخافوا ولا تحزنوا وأبشروا بالجنة التي كنتم توعدون. The other groups of people they meet with the angels and all they hear that have no fear. Don't be worried. No concern. Abshiru bil Jannah. Welcome to heaven. Welcome to Jannah. Enjoy the Jannah. That is what they hear from Malaika. Inna ma yuwafa sabirun ajrahum bi ghayr hisab. Isn't it interesting? That although it is your hisab, everybody should go through the hisab. But when it comes to sabirun, those who showed determination and devotion and good deeds and good service and good connection for them غير حساب there is no حساب for them يوفى الصابرون أجرهم بغير حساب they are rewarded without calculation because of their patience so brothers and sisters while we are living in a world of darkness it is important that we take the light of this message, the light of this holy book, the light of this revelation, and contribute to the removal of this darkness from this life. So much darkness, so much ignorance. One of the brother, Brother Jalal, was saying last night that he and his wife in Washington DC, they went to watch a movie and then they are back in their apartment. And they saw a driver, a guy just slowed down and started shouting at him and his wife and using all kinds of F words against them and the entire Muslim and, and everything. How much darkness, how do you know? And they said, go back home, go back home. This guy was born here in Detroit, he was raised here. What do you mean go, go back home? You can see the, the depth of darkness. You see, in countries like France now, they, they claim of democracy and mahad of Korea. Then you, they cannot tolerate the, the swimming suit of a, a Muslim woman who want to be just a normal life, but with, with dignity, with modesty. They attack this lady that had burkini, they call it burkini now, that uh, swim suit, and they said, no, you cannot do that. How can you talk about freedom of religion, religious liberty, and against oppression, and you are imposing your own style on this lady who voluntarily and freely, that is what she likes. And there are even non-Muslim women that they, they want to have like a special swimming suit because of, you know, health reason or personal reason or because of sunshine or whatever. They are not doing it for religious reason. They are non-Muslims, non but still they want to have this something uh, similar to Burkini. What about them? Although now the, the court in, in France, I, I heard that they are uh, now stopping this, but there's been a big mobilization to banning the Burkini for Muslim women. If you hear something like this in uh, Saudi Arabia that women cannot drive, so you, you are not surprised. You know, what are you talking about? But for those people who claim democracy and religious liberty, this darkness, this they are blind. Their heart is blind. Their, their soul is blind. I told Brother Jalal that Quran teaches us just Peace is the best reply to the Johal, to the ignorant that they chose to live in darkness. So that means, brothers and sisters, that living in the age of ignorance and darkness, there is a big duty for people of wisdom and understanding to mobilize 
to change these conditions. And Masjid is a place of this education. This is why we invite interfaith to come to our mosque where we go to the places of worship because the house of Allah should be a house of communication and house of education and house of consultation and house of participation and encouragement. The election is coming. I know that now it's hard now to change the, the direction of the, the national election and it is really embarrassing that we don't have too many good options, even too few good options. But at least at the local level, we have to be very active. We have to participate. And in, in local, at least we know people more and there are more options. And the masjid is a place to encourage this kind of communication and outreach and engagement. And believe me, despite of this darkness, there are so many good people in this country. We just had a few days ago in our house, we had a, a little uh, sandwich and salad for some interfaith. We, we got together as like an annual picnic in our house. And just a simple food and simple friendship make lots of changes, lots of differences. And they didn't want to leave there, although it was Tuesday and a working day and everybody busy. But they were so excited and so interested. Busy people who are leaders of big churches in, in Michigan. Sheikh Hassan was there and some other Mashaikh, they were too. They were interested. So there are good people that they are our partners to fight this cancer of Islamophobia and the cancer of, of darkness and, and ignorance. But we have to take advantage of that and we have to be active on that. And this is why I encourage, keep encouraging you brothers and sisters to become solid members of the mosque. How many times I ask the, the families that encourage your youth now that before summer is over or is almost over, and school starts, let your kids, your sons, your daughters become part of the masjid. Connect them. Try to save them from getting lost in this darkness and ignorance. It's so easy in this society to get lost. We see even some of the most faithful families they may not have enough power to prevent their children from getting lost. It's a very dangerous time we live. And we try to make this center, which is one of the, the most active center in this country when it comes to outreach and interfaith, to make it stable. Alhamdulillah, now we are there and working like 18, 19, sometimes 20 hours a day and like a family and we don't care about what we eat. I mean, if you come to our house, it's many times there either pizza or sandwich or, or nothing. And even my wife says, I mean, you can't have, you know, working the masjid and working the society and also cleaning the house and have the best cooking. You cannot have everything together. You lose something, you have to sacrifice something. And we are doing this, but we try to make sure that this masjid is stable and has enough members and they are aware and they are active and participating that inshallah this mission will continue whether we are there or not. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to save from our time, from our money, from our ideas to save something for this long, long journey ahead of us. I will continue this discussion about the, the concept of Ma'at, the concept of Yawm Al-Akhir, the day of resurrection, inshallah, for maybe a few more weeks. Because now that we started this discussion,
And this is one of the main principles in our faith. After oneness of God and faith in Nubuwa, the prophethood and revelation, day of judgment is a fundamental principle and feature in our faith. So we'll continue to talk about this for a, a few more weeks. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for guidance. Allahumma ja'al anfusana mutma'innatan biqadarik. راضية بقدائك مولعة بذكرك ودعائك ربنا إنك جامع الناس ليوم لا ريب فيه ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان بإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والباغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون وإلى الصلاة إن الصلاة تنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته